Hello, this is Texas Style Cuisine and I'm Chef Johnny. Appreciate you dropping by. Tonight, I'm going to break out my cast iron dishes. We're going to be doing something a little bit different on them tonight. We're going to be making a keto friendly dish. We have cooked up some spaghetti squash and I'm going to show you how to make a fantastic cheesy casserole out of that. So stay tuned and we'll be right back to show you that. We're going to get started on this. I have three different kinds of cheeses. I already have my meat browned. I already have my sauce made. I'm going to put a recipe for the sauce down below. The important thing to remember about the sauce is, is do not add any sugar to it. If you buy a pre-made sauce, it's going to have sugar in it. So buy you some canned tomatoes. Use those that have not had sugar added. The tomatoes are already going to have some sugar in it. We do not want to add any more. Now this hamburger meat is already cooked. And, uh, all I've added to it was salt, pepper, garlic, and uh, some Italian seasoning. That is browned up pretty good. I'm going to let it warm back up again, and I'll show you how to get our squash on. Meat's getting good and hot, so I'm going to add some of our squash to it. There we go. And I would say that actually was a smaller squash. It wasn't real big. Probably a medium sized one. Just start kind of working my meat into my squash. Turn my heat down a little bit. It doesn't hurt for it to toast this squash a little bit. When it's down in there, it's going to give it a good flavor. Now I'm going to pour my sauce on top of that. Got a couple of cups of squash here, or a couple of cups of sauce here. I always remember to go kind of light. Okay, so this is where your calories are going to come in or your sugar calories are. So you have some carbs in your squash. But we sure don't need that. I'm going to put about four ounces of Parmesan cheese in here. Mix it in. Like I said, this is going to be pretty cheesy and it's going to be a three cheese casserole dish. And I really just want to kind of get this all melted together. Kind of get it hot before it goes in the oven. In the oven, all I'm going to do is just really just brown my get it melted and brown. Now that everything's off the stove, I'm going to take my gus in the number five Wagner pan here, spray it good with non-stick. Now I'm just going to put this down into my cast iron pan. Here we go. We have squash, we have meat, we have cheese. I'm going to fill three of these tonight, so looks like that ought to be enough for the first one. A little bit more, maybe. Move it to the side and let's do the other two. There we go. Three dishes ready to go. And I'm just going to top them off with some shredded mozzarella. For our third cheese. And my last one. These are ready to go. I'm going to put these in a preheated 350 degree oven. Probably about 20 minutes just till our cheese melts good. Maybe a little browning up on top. We can even broil them a little bit at the end if we want them nice and brown. But uh, we're going to put these in the oven let this cheese get melted. I'll tell you what, these dishes turned out very, very good. Um, they look beautiful. They're toasted up on top. Turned on the broiler right at the end to finish them off. But the cheese is melted all the way through. They're looking fantastic. I've let them cool for a little while. And uh, I'm going to give this one a little taste here. See how it comes out. There we go. Still is steaming. I 
That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. These are little number five skillets. So really, uh, they would feed a couple of people if you were doing this as the entree. And uh, you could do it in a bigger skillet, of course, if you wanted to. I just did it in three small ones uh, just to break it up. But again, it will work for keto. Watch that tomato. Watch the tomatoes you buy. I'm going to put a recipe down below of a sauce you can make that not, does not have any sugar added to it. So that will help hold that sugar level down on these. But the dish was great. It turned out good. Cooked up those, those uh, spaghetti squash. You can do that on the weekend and then have your spaghetti squash in a Ziploc bag during the week to bring out and use as a side dish or to do something like this three cheese uh, cheesy bake that we did tonight or something like that. But it turned out great. Appreciate you stopping by. Give these uh, spaghetti squash a try. Try this casserole if you're on a keto diet, you know somebody that is. Maybe a dish that they want to try. But anyways, thanks for stopping by. Give me that thumbs up. Always do appreciate that. Remember to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you know every time we put up a brand new video. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine. Tell your friends, tell your family about us, and we'll see you down the road on Texas Style Cuisine. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell and he rings the world a warning. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.